Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod, everyone. I'm Noah, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make cool sound effects for your games. Lots of people have requested this tutorial, and since I'm currently working on the sound effects for my own game project, I thought now would be a great time to do so. So it's obvious that sound effects are an important part in any game. Whether it's a platformer, card game, or strategy game, it gives the player a nice feeling that his actions have more of an impact on the game world. For example, hovering over an enemy unit in Into the Breach gives me this cool little sound effect. They just make the actions you make in the game world more interesting and lively. For example, the dash move in Celeste. Compare that with no sounds. The whole move feels a lot less interesting. So yeah, sound effects are really important, and they can make your game, whether it's small or huge, feel awesome. I use a great software called Audacity to create sound effects. The link to download it is in the description. And this is how it looks. First of all, there's this record button. If I click on it, Audacity will begin recording sounds. Currently, it's recording whatever sound I make with my microphone. So for example, let me say something like, Hello world, I'm making a sound effect. Then I'll hit the spacebar on my keyboards to stop the recording, and I can then click this green play button to listen to the sound I just made. You can see that Audacity is recording my microphone right here. So yeah, I'm using a Blue Yeti microphone. You can of course use any microphone, be that the ones directly integrated with your computer or something else entirely. If however you would rather record sounds playing on your computer, you can also do that. Just change this MME to Windows Wasapi for example, and I'll choose here my headphones. This way whatever I listen to, for example a YouTube video, will be recorded in Audacity. But I'll change that back to using my microphone to make my sound effects. So to recap, to start recording, hit this red circle button, and to stop, hit space, or this square button. Now often when making sound effects for your games, you'll want to edit that sound. For example, I've gone ahead and made this weird sound with my voice. It could be a pickup or power up sound effect, but in its current state, it's a bit crap. So first of all, there's all this useless bit. The actual sound effect really starts here, as you can see. I'll hold down the left mouse button and drag over that useless bit, and then hit the delete key. Awesome. And I'll do the same for the end. Still, the sound effect is far from good, so let's head over to this effect window. It's here that we can apply loads of interesting effects to our sounds. Before applying any effects though, make sure that your sound clip is selected. You can do so by left clicking here, or pressing Ctrl A on your keyboard. Now for example, I can add some reverb to the sound. That already sounds more interesting. And how about some echo? Doing so is a sure way to make the sound effect feel more epic and haunting. Now, as you can see, there's tons of effects, and explaining what each and every one do in detail would take me a couple hours. So instead, I really urge you to just test them out and see what they do for yourself. If you do so, after a couple of minutes, you'll understand what most of these effects do. Now, another cool thing here is that you can, if you want, apply an effect to only a small part of your sound. So I can left click and drag over this small end part, and then add some fade out effect which will gradually decrease the volume of the sound. Now the effects won't end abruptly, but more gradually, which is neat. Here's another fun example. Here I've recorded myself saying, Hello game developers, and welcome to Blackthorn Prod. I'm going to select the part where I say hello game developers, and add some pitch effects to it. This will let me change how squeaky or deep the sound effect is. So a low number here will make the sound very deep and grave, and a high number will get it sounding squeaky. I'll choose squeaky. And then for the second part, I'll make it really deep. And this is the weird end result. Hello game developers, and welcome to Blackthorn Prod. So have fun with all these effects, you can really get creative here. For example, try the reverse effect. This will sort of flip your sound effect, which I find sounds quite scary most of the time. This is me saying, hey I love making games. And this is the same sentence, but reversed. 
Or how about tempo? This lets you change how fast the sound effect is without changing the pitch, which can be super useful. Hey, I love making games. Or wow, wow. this is just weird but pretty cool. Hey, I love making games. So say you're happy with your sound effects. Importing it into your game engine is really easy. Whether you're using Unity or Unreal or Game Maker, I think the process should be the same. Just head over to File, Export and choose Export Audio. Then just save your sound effects inside of your project in a sound effects folder, for example. Now I'm using Unity and as you'll see, the effect appears right here. Now I'll be teaching you all how to play the sound effects in Unity in another tutorial. For now, we're just going to get back to work learning how to create sound effects. So armed with what we've learned so far, let's try and make a sound effect for an explosion, picking up a bag of coins, and a horrible death sound effect. So I often use my voice when making sounds, but of course I really recommend you also use other things lying around your house or outdoors. It's a good idea to gather a little collection of items and trinkets to make sound effects. For example, I have with me a bag of coins, sheets of paper, a book, stones, and a bottle of water. All these things might come in very handy when making sounds. So to make my coin pickup sound effect, for example, I can simply hit the record button and shake my bag of coins near the microphone. Then I'll edit the sound a bit, perhaps adding some reverb or echo, or making the sound slightly more squeaky by increasing the pitch. Creating sounds is really about experimenting, stretching your imagination and having fun. So let's have fun making a death sound effect. I'll yell something weird and horrible in my microphone ah! and add some echo to make it feel a bit more dramatic. Ah! And for an explosion, I'll shout something like <laughs> and perhaps I'll create a new mono track and record myself again, this time tapping the mic or my desk to give the sound more of an impact. And now both sounds will play at the same time, making for something quite interesting and cool. <laughs> so there we go, that's the real basics of making sound effects. Now, as you probably know, sound effects is in no way my strong point. I'm a beginner too and don't have much fancy equipment. But when starting out, you don't really need that much. Just audacity, a mic, and the will to learn, improve and have fun. Now note that you don't necessarily need to make all the sound effects yourself. You can also use cool websites to find sounds for your game, my favourites being freesound.org and the YouTube audio library. Links to all that are in the description. You just need to type out what sound or music you're trying to find, for example a water splash, and plenty will pop up, ready for you to implement in your game. On the downside, you'll be missing out on a lot of fun, and some sounds here can be used in commercial games, and you'll most likely need to include the creator's name in the credit of your project. Still, could be cool for smaller, free games you're making and if you're running low on energy or time. Okay, that marks the end of this sound effects basics video. Thanks a lot for watching, and before leaving, remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons to support me and my content. It's really appreciated and encouraging. And here's another huge thank you and shout out to my patrons for their financial support. Now, back to work on the dreadful whispers. Cheers. Cheers.